Welcome to the grand finale of my ultra running diary and join us as we spend a very wet, windy Sunday running from London to Brighton. All right, it is 20 past six. Judy is just registering, getting a number. <laughs> One, two, five, there we go. <laughs> I wonder where Robin Jim are. <laughs> <laughs> Her guys, where are my guys? Where are my, where are my map readers? Right, five Help minutes me. before <laughs> rendezvous time. <laughs> right. They've probably lost their way. In the rain on um, Greenwich, Greenwich Common Blackheath Common, about to walk across to the Greenwich Observatory to run back to Brighton, <laughs> as you do. It's Sunday morning, Sunday, October 5th, 2008. Best of luck to you guys. We all know, don't we, these guys that do this sort of running, how, much, how difficult it is, but not only that, but how mental it is, how much it's a mental process, how many thoughts go through your mind, how many people you think of and the things that happen to you during these runs. Very, very best of luck to everybody that's running today. Five, four, three, two, one. The gun went and we headed for Bromley. We're still smiling. <laughs> we'll <take> one. <laughs> After running for nine miles, we arrived at the first checkpoint. Yeah, and here they come, the first checkpoint. Um, we are quarter past eight, so an hour and a quarter in, so it's pretty damn good game, right? There's a couple more in the car if you need any more. Okay, no, we fantastic. carried on down through Surrey, over the M25, onto Dorman's Land, where Simon caught up. Lovely. All right, thank you. Off you go, mate. <laughs> Absolutely fine, except for my hip flexors and my everything else. <laughs> go for a rub. So it's... Have you it? No, no, we haven't. Uh, it's coming up to 5 to 11. Um, I think Rob went past about 10 minutes ago. We're in the same spot here. Uh, just outside Dawn's Land, and I think Julia's just coming over the hill. We ran down the corner of Kent into Sussex, past my favourite coffee shop in Forest Row. Okay, yeah, so it's 512 in Forest Row. Looks like Rob's coming up now. Um, there was another four people just ahead. Uh, we went past about ten minutes ago, so he's still keeping up with the front runners there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a twenty pass. Jim and Julia, still at Forest Row. About 20 minutes or so behind, uh, behind Rob. Well done! <laughs> He's got a smile on his face. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we then ran on to Horsted Canes where my great friend Ange was waiting for me. No, there's two lads behind who filled up there and I said I'd meet them here, but I'm going to leg it quickly before they get here. <laughs> My legs started hurting at 20 miles. And are they still hurting? I don't know how you get going once you stop. We got after our 20 miles yesterday. <laughs> two blocks of nine miles. Yeah. Easy.
<laughs> straight through, straight through. Uh, that's quarter to two at Holster Keynes. On the way to Wivelsfield, Jim and I got lost in a wood. Okay, it's three o'clock. Um, looks like Rob's coming down. Uh, we just had the guys at the front, well, about half an hour ago now, so people are getting a bit more spread out. Looks like he's struggling a bit more than he was before, although the terrain's muddy, wet, boggy. Yeah, not bad. I don't normally have the cake, drugs, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to have two more painkillers. Can I give you those? Yeah, yeah, just sort that out. I am enjoying it in a sadistic sort of way. <laughs> good, yeah. good. You remember that? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You go, guys. <laughs> okay, five to four. Go about on, an hour behind Rob now. See you about ten miles to go. Forty-five miles in. It's Jim. Julia behind him. Doing okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That took us about four miles wrong. Oh, oh no! Never mind, never mind, you're on your way. Oh, you're on. Well done. Thank you. Oh. I don't know, I've got to slip out in all my life because I do at the moment. You're nearly home though, honey. You're doing really well. You're nearly you're home. home. By the bottom of Ditchling Beacon, luckily I'd recovered somewhat for the final stretch. Simon with the camera to the top of Ditchling Beacon. Then we saw the sea and headed for home. Okay, uh, 6.40. Looks like they're just coming over the roundabout now. It's Julia, Jim. <laughs> well done guys, fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Greek, should we get the uh yeah. <laughs> Some people still got energy. Lovely. <laughs> 